I'd like to talk a little bit about the Marmot 6P Halo Test, uh, which is a recent purchase of mine uh, this year, and I've used it several times in different kinds of weather conditions. So I wanted to give you um, my experience and whether I recommend it or not. Um, so what I was looking for um, in a tent was something bigger than the four-person Coleman that we had, um, but not so big that it's like putting together a caterpillar. <clears throat> and also something that um, would keep us completely dry, even in heavy rains, um, for, you know, more than just a few seconds. Uh, the Marmot Halo 6P is the biggest six-person tent that I could find, um, and it had a unique architecture which drew me to it. I got mine f online for um, uh, under $400 on an independent uh, website, um, which I think was a pretty good deal. <clears throat> so, again, the primary features that I was looking for, which the Halo has, the Halo 6P has, um, is plenty of room, including floor space as well as head space, and convenience of setup, as well as um, you know, not having to worry about rain uh, at all. Um, and what that basically entails is having a rain fly that goes almost down to the ground. So. The Halo does have that uh, because it has uh, what they call the Halo bars or the Halo poles, um, which are the gold ones, um, basically sort of forming a circle or a halo around the top of the tent. It pulls the walls out so they're almost vertical, giving you a ton of head space. Um, and the floor space itself is 10 by 10 feet, which is very large. Let me show you a little bit of the inside of the tent. Two-way zippers here. Door opens really wide for really easy access. Um, it's not a full-size door, but I'm six feet tall, and you know I can step in pretty easily. Lots and lots of space here. I can stand up, and I've still got I don't know maybe uh, a foot over my head here. Um, it's the thing about this tent is it's probably the biggest six-person tent you'll ever see. Again, it's pretty hard to show how big this tent is, but. Um, I've got one full-size sleeping bag lined up over here, and you can see that you could probably put at least, well, two, maybe two and a half this way. Um, and, and you've got plenty of head-to-foot room. Um, again, plenty of room to, to stand up. Um, one of the reasons there's so much room here is the base foot is it's 10 by 10 feet, which is pretty generous in and of itself for a six-person, um, but also the walls, because it's a halo tent, are, are very vertical, so you have so much more head space, it feels like such a bigger um, space even than it actually is. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can could, I could sprawl out. I'm touching one side with my fingers. Again, I'm six feet, and I don't even touch, and then I've got another foot down there, so there's plenty of space in here. Let me show you some of the other features inside. Okay, so moving in. Just taking a look. You've got this huge panoramic uh, screen area um, with pretty high uh, opaque walls on each side. Um, this comes up with me. And it comes up to about my shoulder here and about my armpits down here. So all that to say, there's pretty, uh, pretty good um, privacy. In pictures, it looks like the screen comes down pretty low, but it's actually higher than a lot of other tents, which is one of the reasons I got it. And then uh, even this area, this looks low, um, but I mean, that's above my belly button, which is higher than a lot of um, smaller tents in terms of like uh, privacy screen, stuff like that. So, um, and because there's, because the walls are kind of high, they also have these, which are uh, full length vent flaps um, that will come down and basically let air in uh, and then it can circulate up to the top um, and that's helpful. I mean, you can have those open even when the um, 
even when the rain guard is on, the rain fly. So that's really cool. Um, coming back up here, there are eyelets. Um, there are actually five of them. One there, they sort of make this kind of square. You could actually uh, hang clothes up here or something. And then there's one centrally. So um, if you hang a light on it, this is actually pretty high. Um, I'd have to check the specs, but this is probably almost seven feet high, so shorter people wouldn't be able to turn the light on. We usually keep one on one of these lower ones, um, and that's a lot easier. Here again is the full-size sleeping bag. Plenty of room for your head and a pillow. Plenty of room to have stuff at your feet. Um, so we've taken this camping with uh, two dogs and our stuff, and we have lots and lots of room in here. Uh, if we had kids, you could probably do this tent in a pinch with uh, four small kids. Um, probably not two dogs, but you could probably do three three kids and a dog or four kids and two adults and be reasonably comfortable. Um, lots of storage here. Um, there's various levels of these mesh pockets. Um, some of them, like this, actually go all the way down. So that's like, I don't know, two and a half, almost three feet uh, down. So larger light items can be um, put there. Some of them um, are, they have side openings. Um, and, but there are mesh, there is mesh storage in every corner in this tent, which is really great. Um, We've used this in the rain, um, and the tape seams work really well. Uh, the bottom is, I don't know what this is, what kind of material, I'd have to look it up. Um, but it's pretty thin, so it could potentially tear. Um, but we were at a campsite uh, once, um, camping, they have like the sandboxes where you put your tent. Anyway, the water had puddled underneath the tent because I had a, a tarp under it, and it rained and we could see puddles underneath this fabric, um, but it didn't get wet. And we were, I was able to take the tarp out from underneath it, let the water drain, and we didn't get anything wet, which was great. So, um, and the rainfly does a super good job of keeping the inside dry and yet allowing ventilation. Another reason that um, you have so much room with this tent is that in the front, uh, when you have the rain fly on, you have a vestibule in the front and you also have a vestibule in the back, which gives you lots and lots of dry storage uh, areas for Tupperware or wood or shoes or um, you know anything that, that doesn't have to be inside your tent at all times. Um, so yeah, it's um, I highly recommend this tent. Oh, here's one other thing. You can see there's various labels or logos here, here and there. Uh, let me try to find the other ones. Okay, there's another one, but I know that, oh, it's on the fly. The fly actually has more reflective ones, um, which you can see in other video clips I'll show. But they are super, super reflective, like any little tiny flashlight reflects a ton of light. So all in all, I would highly recommend this tent. This is not a backpacking tent. You're not gonna to wanna to strap this to your back um, unless you have a mule or a horse. And then in that case, it would work fine. Um, but it's a great tent for car camping um, or you know, a walk-in site that's not too far, less than a mile or something like that. The one drawback which I have experienced um, actually while I was setting it up for the video was that the main tent poles they're lightweight, but they can bend fairly easily, and so that happened to me on one of them. So I'm going to reach out to Marvin and uh, see if I can get that replaced. But I have read about that online, that other people have experienced that too. So um, it's, it's hard to put the tent up without using a lot of pressure, because you've got to force that in there and get it in the grommets, but um, I guess do it as gently and smoothly as you can. But all in all, I'm, I'm really happy with the tent and I would highly recommend it.